I am super stoked. I finally got the wheels and tires done on this thing. It's something I've been wanting to do since I got it. You know, I live in a building that was built in 1926 with a very narrow driveway and the 17 inch method racing off-road wheels that were on it had an offset that made the van too wide. So every time I went down my driveway I had to roll up onto a curb and ride a curb all the way down the driveway. It wasn't good for the van. It wasn't good for the tires. It wasn't good for the rims. <laughs> I finally got some stock Chevy wheels. I cleaned them up. I stripped them. I painted them. And uh, I just got these new tires. So I'm going to show you this and uh, show you some underneath stuff and how I fit the uh, spare. You can do it! <laughs> it's a 2004 all-wheel drive Astro van. Sorry about the wind noise. We've been getting this crazy wind in L.A. Uh, last couple of weeks, really, pretty consistently. And uh, it makes everything you do around here a little bit of a pain in the ass. But at least it's not Texas right now. <laughs> Anyhow, transfer case, S10, 4x4, uh, with a lift. It's about a 5-inch lift. And I found these stock Chevy wheels. I painted them with a Rust-Oleum 2X. And, you know, look, I was in the Marine Corps, and this is just military tech here, right? So real, real easy to touch up. These wheels are going to take some abuse. Those lug nuts, which I will touch up, were on my method wheels. I like that look. Should have a center cap, but what I want to do is I want to figure out a way to do a little tiny cone cap here for these wheels. Like maybe even something I can just Gorilla Glue <laughs> in place or something. I've got a machinist pal. If we did something with a flange, I could tap in and drill three holes or four holes and screw it to the rim and that would look real tough. Maybe I'll do something like that. It's, uh, I went with this Wild Peak, the uh, Falcon tire. It's an all-terrain uh, light truck tire. So it's got like a 10-ply sidewall. It's got a great snow rating. I heard real good things about them. I was going to go with the Cooper. I actually put a 255 on it, and it was way too small. It was the same size as the tires that were on it. And then, uh, well, look, I do have some rubbing already from going down my driveway, so I do have to be careful. And um, it was too small, like I said. So these are 245, 75, and the wheel is about a 30-inch wheel when it sits on the truck with the weight. It's about a 29 and a half. So with this lift, it works out perfect. And I was able to get a full-size spare up under here. And I'll tell you, with a 245 width, that's about the widest tire you want to maybe try to squeeze under here. You can see it in relation to the trailer hitch. So anything wider, I think you'd have a problem. And I mean, 30 inch diameter is pretty much about your max as well. So perfect size tire. If you want to run a full size tire as a spare, you know, it looks close to this pipe. I don't think that's going to be a problem. People are already talking about it. I may make a heat shield for that pipe just for fun. Something that's actually mounted to the tailpipe itself. It'd be kind of a neat thing to play with. Still have to do the springs, and uh, yesterday we put this up on the lift because we're going to do a, an alignment to it. And when they put it up on the lift, they called me over and they pointed out to me that my idler arms are shot. Now you may recall I've redone this whole underside here, right? So new upper lower ball joints, control arm bushings. I went with the uh, higher end ball joints, that blue color up there, and the idler arms here, you know, I had them uh, a place put my engine mounts in that I made myself, and when they did that, I got it back and it had kooky steel shims in here, which I wasn't super stoked with, so I made these riser blocks, I'll show you the other side, I gotta paint this too. Let's see what it looks like from this side. Old man. Old man moving around on the ground. Okay. There we go. That's better. So, they move my tire around, and this joint right here, this thing is wonk, 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 wonk. 
And I mean, these things have been on here less than two years. So if you got an idea for me, a better quality uh, idler arm, let me know. Include a link maybe, and I will uh, pop these off and pop the new ones on. I think the alignment's okay, but better to check it. So anyhow, just want to show off those. These are the old wheels. I have these listed. Actually, I used this on Craigslist for kind of, some people think, a ridiculous price because I know somebody's going to try to talk me down. And the reality is I'd like to get like 800 bucks out of it. I listed it for like 12 Because <laughs> these method wheels are pretty pricey. And there's a lot of life left in these tires, even though the sidewalls are worn a little bit. There's probably 20,000 miles on these tires. But I think they have a 60,000 mile rating. It's a decent quality Hanuk all-terrain tire. But, um, yeah, I'm super happy with the way this van looks, it sits, it rides right, and feels the wheel well right. And uh, I'll tell you what you can feel with these tires. You can feel them bite the road. They really bite the road well. I mean, it, it feels rock solid on the road. I'm looking forward to getting it on the highway. You know, you think that it would change the speedometer, uh, like it would read the wrong speed, but I had the maps running on the phone yesterday on the way back and uh, opened it up a little bit and I noticed that the speedometer and the maps reading uh, was the same. At first it was like about four to five uh, miles per hour slow and then all of a sudden it started reading correct. So I don't know if that was the computer recorrecting somehow. Could be. I don't know. You tell me. They look real good on there. I'm going to hit that center with uh, a wire brush on the drill and paint it black temporarily. I think that'll look kind of tough. And uh, that's all for now. Hope you dig it as much as I do. I know you're jealous. <laughs> hey, have a good day and be cool with each other.